In this video, I will show you how to fix Baldur's Gate 3 DirectX error. So let's jump straight into it. Now, fixing a DirectX error in Baldur's Gate 3 can involve several steps as the issue could stem from various sources such as outdated drivers, corrupted game files or incompatible settings. So what we're going to do is go through some steps you can take to troubleshoot and fix the DirectX error in Baldur's Gate 3. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you do have the most up-to-date graphics drivers. Whether that's for NVIDIA, AMD or Intel, what you're going to want to do is visit the relevant site. So, for example, for NVIDIA, and you want to search for your graphics driver and download the latest drivers. So, after doing that, the next thing you're going to want to do is verify the integrity of the game files to make sure there's no broken files or corrupted files. Now to do that on Steam, what you're going to want to do is come to your games library and from here you want to come to the left hand side and locate Baldur's Gate 3. So I currently don't have it on this account but the process is the same. What you want to do is right click onto Baldur's Gate 3, so I'm going to use Terraria as an example and on this menu that comes up you want to come down and click onto properties. Now from here you want to click onto installed files on this window that comes up. Then you're going to see an option to verify integrity of game files. So click onto this button, it's just going to take a minute or two to basically run through and check for any corrupted or damaged files. If Steam does detect any corrupted or damaged files, what it's going to do is reinstall and repair those files. So give that a try and then see if you can play Baldur's Gate 3 without the DirectX error. So if that didn't work for you, another thing you can try is actually lowering the graphics settings. So if you actually load up Baldur's Gate 3, go into options and video settings. And what you want to do is lower some of the graphics settings down to low to reduce the load on your system. At this point, you can also try switching between DirectX 11 and Vulkan to see which one works best for your PC. Another thing you can try is running the game as an administrator. So what I'm gonna do is use Bluestacks as an example. So in your case, it's gonna be Bold Escape, but what you wanna do is right click onto the game, click onto properties, and that's gonna open up the properties window. Now, what you want to try now is coming up to the top and clicking onto the compatibility tab. And you want to tick the box to run this program as an administrator and tick the box to disable full screen optimizations. Once that's done, make sure to come down and click apply and OK to see if that resolves the problem. Also, another thing that could be causing this is out of date or missing Microsoft Official C plus redistributable files. So if you actually come across and Google this, so you just want to put something like Microsoft Official C plus redistributable, and what you want to do is come across this website and re-download this onto your PC. So basically what you want to do is come across to this page, scroll down and you're going to see the link to click. I would recommend downloading both the 64 and 86 bit version. Once you've done that, be sure to restart your PC, load up Baldur's Gate and see if that fixes your problem. So a final fix I would recommend is checking for any updates for Windows. So to do this from your desktop, come down to the bottom left hand corner to your search box and just go ahead and type update. Underneath best match, you should now see the option to check for updates. So you want to see if there's any available updates as out of date drivers can cause DirectX problems on games and of course on Bold Escape 3. So if you do have any updates available, make sure to restart your system from the update screen. And what it's going to do is in store any available updates which will potentially fix any problems including the DirectX error on Baldur's Gate 3. So that's how to fix Baldur's Gate 3 DirectX error. With that being said I hope this tutorial did help you out today and if this did help you out I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said I just want to take a minute to thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial and I will see you in the next video.